Kia ora, here's question 1E from this year's integration paper. Uh, I think this is quite a nice question. We're given two functions, um, both of them are exponentials, and we have to find the exact value of the shaded area. So all we're going to have to do is to integrate between some limits. So that's going to be the first part of the question, is working out what are these limits. Well, one of them is going to be zero. And then we want the top function, take away the bottom function. So I guess step one is to say, well, which function is which? And that's pretty easy to do here once you have a look at what the functions are. So the first function is y equals e to the x squared, which we can rewrite as y equals e to the, e to the power of 2x. Now, from that, we know that the y-intercept is simply 1 um, because when x is 0, e to the 0 is 1. So this function here is e to the 2x. And this function here is the other one, and you can see the y-intercept of 10 sitting there. So we've got y is equal to 3, e to the x plus 10. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what's this point here, or at least what's the x-coordinate of that point there. We're going to do that by equating the two y values. So e to the 2x is equal to 3e to the x plus 10. And you guys should spot that we've got a disguised quadratic. So I'm not going to do that with a u thing because, I don't know, we're at the end of the year, not the start of the year. Um, so solving that quadratic like this, you can see that it's going to solve pretty nicely. And the other thing is that you're told to find an exact value in this question. So chances are it's not going to be a, a horrible number. Um, we've got e to the x here, e to the x here. We want two numbers that times to give me negative 10 and have got a gap of 3. So it's going to be a 5 and a 2, and the subtraction is going to go with this one here. Okay, so two um, possible solutions. e to the x plus 2 is equal to 0. Um, but So there's no solutions to this, right? Because e to the x can't equal negative 2 because e to the x is always positive. So that's not a solution. Right, so we've ditched this one. And it must be this one, that e to the x is equal to 5. So x is equal to the natural log of 5. Now we've got our two limits. We know which function is the top one. We are good to go, right? So the area, which we'll call a, is equal to the, this integral between the natural log of 5 and 0 of this. So um, pretty easy integration in this question, actually. I think all the thinking comes first up. Integrating this, we get 3 to the 3e to the x. In fact, I think, think most of you have probably stopped watching by now. There we are, minus a half, whoops, minus a half e to the 2x. And we have to evaluate it at these limits. Now, you do have to be a bit careful with this one. Right, so let's go. We've got 3e to the log 5 plus 10 log 5, minus a half e to the 2 log 5. This is where we've got to be careful. Um, and the other thing we've got to do is not just not just ignore the bottom limit, as some of you have a tendency to do, right? Because e to the 0 is not 0. So we've got minus 3 plus 0 minus a half of 1. So let's clean all of this up. Well, 3e to the log 5 is equal to 3 times 5, so 15 plus 10 log 5 minus a half of e to the natural log of 5 squared. So remember that we have to, to, to do the inversing, the e and the log undoing each other, we have to have it that it's e of the log, not with this 2 sitting out here. Um, I'm being slightly incoherent because it's only about 7am, right, minus 2.5. So let's just keep on going. Um, I've got this and this we can clean up. So 12.5 plus 10 log 5 minus a half of 25, which is 12 and a half. So my final answer that I got was simply 10 log 5. So there you go. I think that's quite a nice question. I think it, I just still think it's on the easy side compared to past years for the integration excellence questions. But um, if you set that paper, I'm sure that you, you think that was a good thing. So um, let me know if you've got any particular questions from the other papers that you want YouTubed. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on going in order. So the rest of the integration excellence questions, and then I'll get on to differentiation.